I don't know about you guys, but I love cheese. It just doesn't love me most of the time. Just get to the B-roll. Now, if you're making labna or lebni, like we like to call it, it's a very straightforward process. You can use any full fat yogurt you like. For this, I'm using some Chobani whole milk fat yogurt, whole milk, whole milk plain yogurt. Straightening yogurt is relatively easy. You're just gonna need a little bit of cheesecloth or you can use paper towels or you can use a coffee filter. You're also gonna need a nice fine mesh strainer and you just wanna be able to completely cover the strainer with your cheesecloth filters or paper towels. From here, we're gonna add our strainer into our bowl and make sure there's about two inches of clearance on the bottom. Uh, Giovanni, if you wanna sponsor a video, just send lots of yogurt. No, I spilled the salt. 25 years of bad luck, throw it over your shoulder. Don't dare. Once you have your strainer set up, go ahead and dump in the full amount of yogurt that you're using. You don't want to overcrowd this too much, so I'm just going to be able to use what I have. The only other ingredient you really need for this is about one teaspoon worth of salt. And just make sure it's really mixed up so there aren't any hidden pockets of salt. This is going to help extract a lot of the liquid. I also like to take two paper towels and place them right on top just to help protect the yogurt and then fold over everything right on top. Once that's done, go ahead and pop this in the fridge overnight, at least overnight. So since we have to let that strain overnight, you do want to go at least 24 hours before you start to mess with it so you can extract as much liquid as possible. That's what the salt is for. The salt is going to help extract some of that liquid so it gets nice and thick and rich and creamy. In the meantime, feel free to get anything else that you may want to incorporate into the labna to make your own spreads. I'm going to rummage through the pantry and see what we can find as far as spices go and try to make two or three different ones. It's now the next day and our labna, lebni, whatever you want to call it, should be done. This is strained quite a bit. I actually had to remove some of the liquid earlier just because it was starting to pile up. Let me show you what that looks like. You can see how dense this has gotten when I poke this. It definitely feels really nice right now. This is some of the liquid that I had removed previously, and here's the rest of what had come out during that entire 24-hour process. You have a good amount of this. And before you toss this liquid, this is actually your way from straining the yogurt. Super high in protein. I mean, this is what they sell you in powdered form. Not good on its own. Oh, why did I, why did I drink that? <laughs> Now that we can finally pop all this out, you can save this cheesecloth for later and rinse it if you really want to. Look at how nice and thick and creamy this is. It has the same texture as cream cheese, and you could honestly use this in lieu of cream cheese for certain things. Oh yeah, oh that's thick, oh that's real thick. Once you take the entire thing out of your bowl, just give it a tight squeeze just to get any remaining water out, and look at this ball of joy. Look at, look at that, look at how pretty that is. It should be firm to the touch and you should be able to really just slice straight through it just like a nice ball of cheese. Look at how beautiful and creamy and thick and rich. This is yogurt, guys. This is yogurt. Now that pictures are done, let's, let's get this back on the plate. You may be wondering what you can really do with this kind of yogurt and honestly, you could replace this with anything you would use for cream cheese. That is, if you were using it on toast, not sure how it would go with cheesecake. I'm actually sure it would go really well with cheesecake. But I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite ways of creating this into some of your favorite new spreads. Now keep in mind, these next few segments are totally up to you, but for the spiced yogurt, I'm gonna take about a quarter cup of our thickened yogurt and use this spice blend that my dad had sent me quite a while ago. It's Royal Red Zatar, which has a bunch of different spices in it. I've never actually tried it before, but it's pretty good. It has a nice tartness to it. It's a little spicy. It has a really good grain and texture to it. And once you start mixing it in, you can see how it incorporates itself into the yogurt to start making these beautiful Beautiful, creamy and rich spreads with a very very nice consistency to them hit this with just a pinch more salt give it a stir and you're done now for yogurt dip this is gonna be a similar thing to what we had just made but a little more wet because we're gonna be using lemon juice the reason why I like to strain my yogurt like this is because we can add more liquid back to it in the form of lemon juice or whatever other liquids you want if you added lemon juice to regular yogurt, it would just be too thin. We're gonna hit this with a little bit of black pepper and salt, a little bit of granulated garlic, I guess a lot of garlic, and about a tablespoon of dried herbs. You can use whatever you want. This is oregano, parsley, and dried thyme. 
give this a nice stir just to fully incorporate everything and you're gonna get a nice consistency out of it. But because I want it to be a dip, I'm actually going to go ahead and thin this out with just a touch of that whey we had earlier. You could use more lemon juice or even a touch of water if you really want to, but I decided to use the whey since I did have it on hand. Now that we have a couple of spreads, how do you actually present them to a guest who's gonna be hanging out? For that, we're gonna go ahead and break into a little bit of rye bread or your toast of choice, get these into a nice toast point, place your dip, so this is the one that's a little bit more wet into a bowl for dipping, and take that thicker spread and put that directly onto your board. Once it's on your board, press down just a little bit to make a little pool so you can add a little well of happiness and then hit it with a little bit more spice so you can actually differentiate which is which. Go ahead and cut your toast into little points so that they're easier to eat and place them on your board. But nah, maybe right there? No, not right there. Right there. That's fine. Right there. I'm going to use a little bit of a parchment paper for the next one just so it kind of stands out on the board and hit it with your favorite chips. I'm using salt and vinegar chips because they're delicious. I'm about to use some frozen pumpkin pancakes I made earlier. You may be thinking, Paul, how are you going to incorporate pumpkin pancakes out of your freezer into all of this? And I, I kind of have an idea, but like I tell you guys all the time, just play with your food. Do whatever you want. You're the ones eating it. For this, I wanted something a little bit sweet and something reminiscent of a petite four. So I went ahead and cut the pancakes after eating, just eat the snacks, don't waste those. Spread some of that fresh yogurt right onto two pieces of your pancake. Hit this with a little bit of jam. I'm using a homemade apricot jam that I had laying around from I don't know how long ago, but it is delicious. And I went ahead and did two layers of this so that way we can have kind of a three layer cake, if you will. Go ahead and stack these all on top of each other. Trim it just a little bit, but mostly because I wanted to try it and then cut this thing in half. And you're gonna have this beautiful little petite four yogurt apricot cake sandwich thing. Now this last part is totally up to you, but I just wanted to rearrange the plate so it didn't have so much brown going on with it because there are a lot of brown components. So I added a little bit of more fresh yogurt and then, well, brown figs And but look at that. It's nice, it's balanced, it's sweet, salty, savory. I know we kind of went off the wall with this one and we had a little bit of fun with all the ingredients, but this is kind of balanced. Now hear me out. You have two salty slash savory little items here. You have your salt and vinegar chips, which you could replace with crackers or whatever, but salt and vinegar chips, come on. We have a little bit of dark rye bread that we used in a previous video that I'm still trying to go through, a few fresh dates, and a little bit of the fresh yogurt without anything added to it. And then we have our little like pancake looking thing over here for just a little bit of more sweetness to it. When you do stuff like this, you do a plate up like this, you wanna tell people how to eat things. So the only thing that needs to be eaten together is this. That's why I kind of assembled it into a sandwich. So that way you just pick one up and eat it. Whereas the other stuff you can more or less mix and match and have a little bit of fun with it. The yogurt is super creamy. It's rich, it's thick, it spreads just like cheese. I mean, a lot of that lemon juice coming through. Spices are nice. It almost tastes like a very herby garlic onion dip. It's really, really good. And then of course my uh, petite four. This is delicious. Everyone should make these. Have fun mixing and matching all these ingredients. Feel free to make whatever you want with this blank canvas because that's really all this is. Let me know what your favorite style of yogurt is. Honestly, this is one of my favorite ways of making it simply because you can use it for so many different things. Are you going to try something sweet? Or are you going to try something savory? If you want to support the channel, check out the Patreon down below or buy my brand new manga cookbook that just released. Links for those are going to be in the pinned comment down below. My name is Chef PK. I hope I taught you something today. Get subscribed and remember to keep playing with your food. Top when I speak, all cap with the speech till they caught up in the rapture. I'm so out of line with the phrase game. Let's take a break, pin a long day.